Hello guys, what's going on? As you guys know, I'm True Triz. Welcome to my redstone tutorial. Compliments of Mr. Crayfish. This thing is actually one of the coolest things. This is actually a armor stand shop. So say for example, if we cover this is like a shop over here, and oh we only have we have four diamonds, but we can actually trade in four diamonds to get a full set of diamond armor. Personally, I think that's an awesome trade, and I'd much rather have that than only have like four diamonds in my hand. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually just gonna throw in my four diamonds here. There we go. And voila, now we actually can get our diamond armor. Whoops, I'm in creative mode, so it kind of makes sense uh, why, I'm, why I'm like getting it like that. But man, oh man, that, that's, a, that's a fair, fair trade. I can just throw this diamond armor on here. And uh, wow, that was, that, was a, that was a good trade. I like that a lot. Uh, well, anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make an awesome contraption just like this. So if you guys do enjoy my Minecraft videos, make sure you guys do smack the like button and uh, share this video with your friends. It really means a lot to me. It really shows your support to the channel. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial here. It's actually pretty easy. Easy, I have to say and uh, I'm actually really happy that uh, this thing is out there because it's really, really cool so first thing first what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna go my redstone section I'm gonna get a redstone torch I will get a hopper I will get a redstone comparator I'll get redstone dust a redstone a block of redstone um, redstone lamp you don't really need it but I just do it just in case um, then I'm actually gonna go over here get my uh, glass panes just like that and then I am going to get uh, oops I completely forgot my sticky piston just like that and then we are pretty much all set to go except you get it like a block of your choice so I'm just gonna use a block of quartz because it looks really clean in my opinion I think it looks really cool um I'll mess around with the armor stand a little bit so first things first what you actually want to do you want to start off with your sticky piston dig two blocks deep one two throw down a sticky piston followed by a glass pane just like that then you're gonna get a block of quartz throw up five high two three four whoops five and then you want to delete the bottom four just like so and then on there you're gonna get a sticky piston throw it down throw a glass plane on top of that so essentially when you have this you're pretty much all ready to go if you want to go right ahead and you want to put your armor stand right here you can do it but I'm just gonna go ahead with the rest of the tutorial um, so I'm gonna go leave one space here so one space and then delete two blocks one two another two blocks one two another two blocks one two so once you actually have this you're going to want to put a hopper and I'm just gonna go down in here make sure you guys are crouched if you guys aren't crouched it's not gonna work so I'm gonna crouch for you and I'm just gonna throw it down and then jump whoops there we go and whoa come on come on come on come on come on there we go okay perfect um, so once you have this you want to have two hoppers just like that throwing down a redstone comparator and you want to make sure to or make sure your two prongs are like closest to the hopper just to make sure um, this is like I mean don't worry about too much about this comparative you guys aren't too fond of redstone it's all good this is pretty simple dig one block deep next to it throw down a block of redstone then you want to throw down redstone dust on top of your block of redstone uh, for this to work once you have this you can actually throw down a block of your choice I'm just gonna use the block of quartz and I'm gonna start digging down um, some here so I'm just gonna quick keep digging down this way and it doesn't really matter how far you guys go as long as your um, redstone just connects so I'm just gonna throw down a redstone torch next to there I'm gonna leave this block blank leave this one down too I mean though I can always come back to it throw down your redstone and throw redstone underneath that block so you have your contraption actually coming down just like that so you're probably wondering you're like wait, wait a minute there's still a little empty space well I'm gonna actually bring it up so this sticky piston is going to come down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a lot more sense in a little bit. So let's get to it. So now I'm going to leave one block here, one block here. I'm going to leave two spaces with the redstone so I can just fill this guy up like that. Uh, then I'll leave it there. So I'll come back to this. Uh, so once you actually have this and you go to your glass pane, you're going to leave one block. I'm going to use a redstone lamp. Obviously, just a little extra, a little extra like showcase feature in a way. Uh, then throw a block of your choice just up like that delete this block so it's connecting like this so you can see how it works uh, once you have this it's literally just a straight up shot to get your uh, get to your sticky piston up there so I'm just gonna throw down uh, redstone 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 there we have it so now we can actually see that it, uh, it connects just like that and then obviously if we had our, our armor stand behind there you can see it's literally the same exact thing down there so that's pretty cool um so this is literally just the half of the tutorial so now what we actually want to do you want to work on getting the currency down uh for us so i'm just actually going to quickly i'm gonna keep the block of quartz or whatever I'll, I'll get another one 
and then I'm gonna get a armor stand whoops and I gotta get a couple of items for us to actually make this thing work you want to get some items that don't stack up for this one I'm just gonna use wooden hose you need four of them one two three four and then you also want another um, some items that do stack up that is like your currency and personally I would choose something if you guys are in survival obviously use something that's really like easy to manage to get but if you guys want to be like a little sneaky maybe you guys want to trade off I don't know um, iron armor for uh, for iron ignits or something like that so we'll get like a chest plate and we'll get pants for this and we'll get we'll get a head why not so now I'm just gonna throw down I'm sure I'm gonna delete one of these redstone to make the thing not there anymore and then I'm just gonna put my arm stand there throw down a armor chest throw down a legging and we'll throw down the head so now uh, what I'm my currency is gonna be iron ignits excuse me and um, I currently have my armor stand all set to go so now if you want to do you can just throw it down into block of quartz or whatever your block of choices to make this thing look pretty nice and then make sure also that you guys uh, don't forget to connect your redstone back if you guys happen to remove it I'm just gonna click do that and uh, there we have it so now it's back there and now you can see that if I kind of like close this thing off it's like back in shop and we aren't able to access our armor stand anymore because we need to purchase our armor with a currency in order for it to work so in order to make the currency actually work it's actually pretty simple it's a lot easier than I think a lot of you guys probably think um, and so like I mentioned before I have the four non stackable items I'm using wooden hose but you can use any other item that does not stack they can include beds um, any armor and uh, yeah so let's go down here and I'm gonna go to the bottom one make sure you guys are on the bottom if you guys are not on the bottom one it's gonna go straight to the bottom so it really doesn't not matter but make sure if you can go to the bottom and I'm just gonna throw down my four uh, hose down here and it doesn't matter what place you put them at because obviously they're not gonna stack so whatever falls down is gonna stack up and I'm quick show you guys what happens when when I actually throw down like another uh, wooden hose or something like that so let's throw down a I don't know a diamond chest plate it does not stack up so now we actually had the, the redstone turns on and Cheap, get, I know you. <laughs> this sheep even's finding this thing amusing. But look at that. He, he's, he's gonna purchase this. Are, you want to buy that iron armor? Yeah. Okay. Well, get out of here. You're in my video. Oh gosh, I'm deleting blocks. But you guys can see now that um, the we are actually able to access this uh, armor stand. This is really cool. So now if I actually go back down here and then if I take out the diamond chest plate and then I come back up, you guys can see that it's not purchasable anymore. So how do you guys make currency? How does how do you make this thing work? Say, for example, I mean, the only problem is there's, there's like a little a bug. If someone would just come and throw down a, a non-stackable item, it would automatically work. Uh, however, if you guys want to be like, if you guys want to be really serious about this thing and you want to have like a, an actual currency system to work, if, say if you want to make someone have like a shop where they have to purchase an armor stand, then all you have to do is uh, come over to any item that stacks and say we'll go to the iron, iron ignits. And then I'm just gonna get another stack of these things. I will right, we'll get two stacks, whatever. So now what you would actually want to do is want to go to your bottom one again. And then say for example, if uh, you want to take one of these, or like say for example, throw in a whole stack of 64. And then say we want to put a uh, put like half. So we'll get we'll make a pretty decent fair trade. So. 54 okay so we're gonna leave 54 and then i hope you guys can do this math obviously it's pretty easy but just get 64 subtract it out whatever uh number you guys want for your currency and then not to confuse you guys i'm just gonna move these iron ignits up here so now we have 10 ignits here and then there's 54 ignits in the bottom hopper so if we essentially throw in 10 iron ignits the whole bottom hopper is going to fill up and then we'll actually be able to access the because it's going to be like a full stack so once we have that then uh, we're actually all good to go so i'm just going to quickly cover this thing up really quick and there we, oops, there we go and then uh, i mean you can try doing some like weird things oops didn't mean to do that either but i mean you could you could do be, be creative do something to like cover all this stuff up so it doesn't look too like crazy with the redstone back there and you can make this thing into an actual like shop you guys have like a a strip or something like that then you can have like a bunch of shops and like your strip and like a maybe like a city or something like that so anyway now what we actually want to do is we want to see if this thing works so we're just going to put down 10 iron ignits into this hopper there we go and last one and there we go it works so now we can actually pull this armor and we can take it and then use it and we only paid i don't know 10 ignits for a whole stack of armor besides the leggings which i think is a fair trade but anyways 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, make sure you guys do. Please leave a like. It really means a lot to me and my channel. And uh, personally, I think this is really cool. I think it's going to be very useful for all you guys to use. But once again, my name is True Trees. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you guys in my next video. Until next time, have a great day. Stay true. Peace.